Hello Shinobi, you window opening motherfuckers, and welcome back to Sekiro, way out of sight. And in this part, we are going to plot. 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 Because what plot. Dis Because what distinguishes this game as opposed to Dark Souls, Bloodborne, or what have you, is you actually spend a considerable and substantial amount of time with its characters. <laughs> Which is, you know, per which is honestly a uh, much more um, uh, enticing to me specifically. Ooh, where does this go? That you like spending time with was, characters. Was this in a a teleport to the abandoned mine? No, it's a teleport to the Ashina Outs. So there's three fucking sculptor idols right <laughs> next to Kuro. <laughs> no, no, no. This this one. This one is a whole loading screen away. That's that's not no, that is that not is a connected. Still right next to fucking Kuro. So I have done several tests that if you take the secret shortcut from this room, however preposterous this is, to the dilapidated temple, that is much faster than using the warp to the dilapidated temple. However, if you go in the opposite direction, even after you came here using the secret entrance way immortal severance text noted that it will you still have to load the entire castle area before the game lets you play okay but because the dilapidated temple area is short as hell it takes no time at all to load it literally right. feels like you walk into a room and you go back out the door and again it's ridiculous and hilarious and i love it <laughs> So, we're gonna go hunt as you long now? We are going to hunt the Divine Dragon. And of course, Divine Dragons live in the Divine Realm. They call that a POI. So, is it owls? No, this is not owls. Good guess, though. It was the original divine heir, Kuro's ancestor. Uh, Takeru, all right. Takeru. Well, I guess he wasn't really immortal then, was he? Well, immortality doesn't mean that you can't die. It just means that you. It just means that you have a significant resistance to death. <laughs> You usually do not die from aging. Uh, mortality is defined by the decay of life, after all. Yes, because eventually everything must die, especially my fucking patience with the number of times you have to initiate conversations just to make plot important events happen. Don't have us go into the Full Metal Alchemist plot, please. What is the Full Metal Alchemist plot? The original recipe for the uh, uh, for the Philosopher's Stone was printed and hidden across a bunch of a bird uh, bird watching manuals uh, hidden in the Grand Library of, of a Mistress. And there is a whole arc in both the original FMA and FMA Brotherhood where Ed, where Ed and Al are attempting to piece together. Uh, the uh, the recipe uh, for a philosopher's stone using uh, the cipher that they have to decode by hand. By the way, speedrunners, that Lord Kuro will usually go very close to where those boards make a distinct black X mark on the ground, just in case you want to be in position in order to hit the talk text. Well, Mr. Gerda, I will say in response that just like how the Lord Souls also were scattered throughout Lordran and Dark Souls 1, that you also have to travel and collect the pieces that Full Metal Alchemist takes it a step further that the search is finally not complete until you actually get the things that the pieces of the map leads them to. Alright, so... Jump cut. We are attempting to clump... Uh, another Sculptor's Idol. 
Yeah, but th Ooh, this a is a chest, though. this is a this is a massive omission from your game search. Yeah, there's a guard seed right here. You you might want to get that. There's only fucking nine of them in the whole game. No, wait a minute. That's a sculptor's idol that we already had. Yeah, because we jump cut it to outside the castle. So I mean, in theory, from where I was at the very top of Ashina Castle, you can in theory circle around and end up where I was. That's the convenience of the castle place lookout. Is that now you have basically unlocked the entire map of the Ashina Castle area? Okay. I'm gonna grind up for one second. Um, after some considerable screwing around, uh, we finally worked out how to reach Ishin. The smoke signals left by the night jar. Mm. Well, the thing is, aren't the smoke, si the smoke signals left by the night jar specifically in order to, uh, uh, tip off, uh, a tip off slash alarm the, uh, the, uh, kite ninja? Well, the smoke signals are designed to indicate where help is needed because otherwise to intruders slash invaders their function might be too mysterious to understand found him what i can't hear you drink <laughs> unrefined sake oh god damn that's got to be really strong then sake is a drink meant for sharing on the other hand, it has a reputation for getting your shit for everything. <laughs> mm, your father told you that the master comes first. Yes, and Genichiro got in the way of our master, so there. <laughs> That boy he found during the rebellion, yes, he knew. Aren't they? Aren't they amusing? <laughs> Holy shit, he's the Tengu. He is the Tengu man, yay, I love that plot twist. I mean, I kind of, I kind of figured it was him by the time I started talking to him. It's his, his voice is, his voice and speaking style is very distinct. Okay. Uh, but that deals, that deals bleed damage, and we, and there aren't all the many enemies that are susceptible to bleed. You, if it bleeds, we can kill it. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, what if it doesn't bleed? <laughs> Mm, and then we run like Panansies back to the helicopter. Get through the chopper! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We've seen the infested before. For God's sake, my roommate is an infested, and he's very good at the combat arts, and lets me practice on him all the time. Bakemono. Where can the sugary be sugared? <laughs> I don't need to draw it then, I just need to thwack people with the hilt. Not, not with the hilt, but with the uh, sheath. But that's stupid. Of course it's stupid, but it's where, uh, uh, but according to Sonic and the Black Knight, that's where all the powerful Excalibur is. Uh, I mean, using using a sh using a sword that's still in its sheath is comparable to using a pistol that still has the safety on. <laughs> no, a pistol that still has the safety on only deals like one d six blunt damage. A sword in its sheath deals like two d six blunt blunt damage. Yeah, I know, but handguns are really delicate. I mean, sure, they start. Oh, Dragon Spring Sake. Here, have a drink while I give my explanation. Uh, that I mean, yeah, the handgun starts off with one hundred health points. But because it is so fragile, it takes 20 health point health, 20 health point damage every single time you try using it as a melee weapon. It bends up the barrel, then you have to fix it. Cloud. D durability. What, they, 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 they measure just taking a gun and doing the Saving Private Ryan. I'm so frustrated at you. Instead of shooting you, I'm just going to throw it at you. <laughs> Mm. 
Like Lady Butterfly? Ah, she was she was drunk. <laughs> That's why she burned the house down. She was drunk. <laughs> Well, I mean, just because he's, you know, actually, body fat is one of the leading contributors to rapid rate intoxication. So I notice he's got two different bla uh, blade sheaths in his uh, in his sword case there. Yeah, one's a katana and the other's a kodachi. The, the short one's the katana and the longer one is the kodachi. <laughs> Are you sure it's not the nodachi? I, I, I no, nodachi is a longer blade than the, that. There's, there's definitely a dachi in there that it's... Well, the, the, the length of the blade fits the function. Or maybe he just likes hanging on to him for sentimental reasons. But yes, Sekiro. Press the correct perilous attack response, or you lose. Sekiro, hesitate, and you will lose your invincibility frame opportunity window. Hello, Mr. Merchant. How do you do? Mm. Oh, what are we trying to upgrade now, Mr. Cloud? Uh, looks like we can do an improved Sabi Maru or the Magnet Loaded Umbrella upgrade. Um, okay, but you're not using the Loaded Umbrella for anything. It's still cool. I spent many dollars in order to create this. Behold. Alright, so... Has a tempered magnetic shaft that makes it nearly unbreakable. Ooh. So, I guess some attacks will cause you to be felled even while using the umbrella, and this one will give you extra protection against some of those attacks. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually use the uh, uh, the upgraded umbrella against uh, Genichiro's lightning, uh, lightning dive or, mm, or shock arrows. No, because those attacks cannot be blocked. They can only be reversed. Oh, hey. There's a cool application for the umbrella. You can block grab attacks. That is actually something I did not give it enough credit for because grabs are supposed to be by nature unblockable, only avoidable. Preventable, I should say. Ow. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, that's right. I'm practicing umbrella deflects and it worked. Hanbei, you do almost no damage to us anymore. So, Hanbei and us are going to be spending some gay old times later now that we have discovered the Mortal Blade. Discovering the Mortal Blade will also unlock different dialogue options with Hanbei. Legends and whispers of a sword that can be used to slay the undead. And in the next part, we are going to make story progress finally because now that we've rescued kuro we can finally start collecting the pieces of the dragon's heritage severance ritual like the tears of ava as you long 